Good morning, Malaysia. This is Jericho, and this is Os Is. This is a uh, wait a minute production. Yep, today I'm going to do an unboxing of Double O Riser, and there are a few other things that I would like to talk about, and I've prepared it. So for this unboxing, I have my trusty knife, ish, uh, paper cutter, uh, switch blade, uh, something, something. So if you know the name of this thing, I've forgotten and I couldn't be asked to find out from the net. Tell me what this is called. I forgot already what's the name. And uh, a pen and a trusty stapler for unboxing purposes. So in the background, I have finished my masterpiece for the week. Took me about more than a week to do this. And I know the face is a bit small compared to the whole body. Well, you can call it a modern art. What do you call it? Impressionist or something? I'm not sure. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of like black and white. But my theme or my motive for doing such things is to have a certain color in a small way that will become a focus of the black and white painting. But if you can see, I don't know whether you can you notice or not, but there is a color there that is hardly noticeable. If you know where it is, let me know in the comments below. So I've named this painting Janice Cole. Why? No idea. It just comes up to me and I just write it down when I finished it. So there's no planning when I'm doing all these paintings. No planning whatsoever. Okie dokie. Uh, be should I go on unboxing? Hmm. Okay, I will unbox first before I talk about the other stuff. So this is a double O riser. Celestial beam mobile suit. GN double O double O plus GNR uh, slash dash O zero one zero from Daban model. The rumor has it in the Laoyat uh, pirated Gundam forum. It says the Daban is actually uh, a very good quality uh, maker and also in the same vein as uh, Google model. The only difference between them is Google model do recast of resin kits which are not Bandai from Bandai but this Daban model uh, outright copies most of the designs of uh, of what came out from Bandai so retail price is 140 ringgit and I got it for 70 ringgit could have been cheaper I would prefer it to be 50 ringgit so it's a I mean, it's a master grade, and the box is kind of small, but I think it's it's packed to the brim because it's kind of heavy for a small box. And this motif has been repeated many times by Daban model, uh, TT Hongli, or whatever. Uh, for example, the uh, Psycho Gundam, I think is from TT Hongli. The box is very small. The real version, or the one that is from Bandai, the Psycho Gundam Mark One, the black one, that one... Uh, the box is similar to this size but the one that is made by TT Hongli has this about this much gone means half of this box is dedicated to the Psycho Gundam so it's a small box and it's packed to the brim hopefully the box will hold, hold on hold on to its uh, integrity and structure as to not crush the runners inside therefore making the work of us modelers much much easier so this is a master grade Gundam and as you know if you've seen my previous casts or productions I don't like master grades they are a bit too small I prefer perfect grades and I'm eagerly awaiting the strike Freedom Gundam. Even though I don't like the designs, but since it's a perfect grade, I might add it to my collection. 
and I haven't even started on working on my Strike Rook 1 hour 60 perfect grade plus the Sky Grasper that one I bought at 120 ringgit and I know gra gra gasp gasp is from GHD a lot of people uh, a lot of people say that GHD is shit and it might be true because I if I wanted to like find out about uh, reviews about GHD but there were none in the YouTube and some some people do uh, make reviews on units that are not currently reviewed in the YouTube and uh, I guess a lot of people try to stay away from GHB even though they didn't it's not featured in the YouTube at all so there's a vacuum there somebody has to review it uh, but I guess a lot of people stay an arm's length or in my case a dick's length which is longer than my hand or my arm so uh, the ones that I wanted to find out about from GHD were the 160 no great Axia I think no no is it, I think it was Axia or yeah it should be Axia so it's a GHD so and there were a few more I I can't remember. Uh, yeah, there were a few more from this uh, Bumi Utara. I went to this Bumi Utara and I wanted to buy the uh, two TT Honglis, the white Shin Matsunaga white Zaku, and also the Tri Star Zaku. I think I can get it for forty ringgit. But then again, when I was there, I was thinking, ah, oh, I have already the what you call it the black uh, grey box black and white box the classic Zaku 2 J version where all the grunts use the green one and also the Johnny Ridden Red Zaku if they had that uh, what are Char's colours Char Aznobu's colours I might consider buying it and if it was 40 ringgit or less I would do so so I didn't buy the TriStar and the uh, Matsunaga, Shin Matsunaga Zakus. Uh, and I browsed around in Bumi Utara, and uh, there were like, there was like a, a what do you want to call it? Let's see. <laughs> I think they have the Destiny Gundam, but it's from, from GHB. So I did not want to buy. I don't know. I think it was from TT Hongli. They also are selling this one from TT Hongli, and I didn't want to buy it because I, I, the Destiny Gundam's colors and design is just, is it doesn't like, it doesn't gel with my my wants or needs at all. So let's go on. So I was like. Uh, more on this Bumi Utara. The only unit that I was interested in was that uh, Tiren, T I E R E N, Master Grade. Uh, that one is from the Double O series, and it's the Grunt unit. It's green in color, and the design is very, very unique and different from Zaku's or Gundam's. Uh, don't know whether it's in this brochure or not. Nope, it's not here. So it's a uh, Tiren, and at half price, it was. After half price discount, it was like 80 ringgit. Fuck no, I'm not gonna pay 80 ringgit for it. Uh, so I asked them, can you get give it to me at 40 ringgit? And they said no, so okay, that's alright. I didn't buy it. Because uh, this box was small and although it's from TT Hongli, I just 80 bucks is 80 ringgit is just too much for such a unit, which I'm not interested in but would have liked to be in my collection so on with the unboxing so this time i forgot my format my new format is today is the 27th of june 2013 and the haze is not bad anymore it's not that bad but it's not that good as well it is still pretty bad if you compare it to the normal kl standard haze or kl standard type of uh, breathing thingy so okay, about seventy ringgit. Mm, where did I buy it from? Uh, Toys Time. Mm, time, 
Oiba, Chalk, Jalan, Rajalau. Okay, I think that's about it. Uh, what was the date again? 27th, yep. 27th of June 2013. Okay. So that was Bumi Utara. Now back into the unboxing. Okay, dokie. So the seal of approval is there. Plastic. I mean cellophane tape. Cellophane tape. Cellophane tape. Cellophane tape. So this, the uh, good feature of this box is four points of genuinity. Let's open it up. Ho ho. Ho ho. Ho ho. And ho ho. Okie dokie. Time to set you down. At least the box is like nice. It's not crushed like the ones in uh, what, what should we call it? In Union 8, so they have old models there, so it's kind of crushed. Just like the the V2 Evo thingy about for 100 bucks from there. Hmm. So, this is it. Time to staple, staple. This. Hmm. This is for I think the side skirts and also the wee fin and the little fellas, little fellas there. This is for um, the green thingy where you can see the lights. I don't know whether this unit gives me LEDs or not. I think it does. Three packs on the side. And the beam sabers, I can see the pink ones. And the O-Riser seems to be kinda small. And aha, uh -huh, th these are the GN drives, I think, or something like that. I'm not sure. They are screws and they are LEDs. Whether they work or not, I'm not sure. I think the batteries come separately. Why? Because batteries are kinda expensive and also they kind of leak as time goes by so you don't want all your products to be full of chemicals right so I'm not sure this is TT Hongli is from China so most likely it's full of lead for the coloring so it's kind of like dodgy and risky to buy stuff from China even though it's cheap but in the long run it might actually kill you there are so many instances where uh, paints for kids uh, were recalled in Britain and America and wherever Asia I'm not sure uh, because you know quality in China is just terrible the quality control they would really really benefit the country itself China itself from uh, qu uh, what do you call uh, health and safety agency of course I don't want it to be as bad or as powerful as the ones in uh, Britain because there were so many reg re regulations in Britain that everything was so convoluted and so confusing and so ridiculous it's sometimes uh, some uh, police officers are advised not to jump into a lake to rescue a drowning man because they are they are, they are scared that the policeman would actually drown himself and uh, the policeman's family can actually sue the police force for such and such because of negligence and whatnot, so yeah, it's kind of like ridiculous in Britain. So, but if if that can improve at least fifty percent of the quality of goods from China, so be it. You have to like sacrifice and have a drink with the devil. So, uh, yeah, the food in China as well, like eggs and uh, salted eggs, and those eggs sometimes. Uh, when when you're making you're when you're making salted eggs right 
normally they use uh, duck eggs because that's the best but uh, as a substitute uh, duck eggs are pretty expensive so they substitute it with uh, chicken egg and uh, the difference between a chicken egg and a duck egg is the duck eggs yolk is very very red and to to mask it to to change to make the chicken egg more like a duck egg they inject a chemical into the uh, chicken egg and that chemical is kind of carcinogenic so that's one of the examples of quality control in china just for profit so this is another big big thing with a lot of uh, pink I think it's a sword I got I don't know what it is so I hope everything is inside here with this four cellophane tips it should be all in the runners are okay the all of them are all right yeah, the old rice is kind of small oh well it's a master grade what do you expect so the booklet What kind of song should I sing or hum today? song or the music let me know in the comments below it's my favorite favorite team or classical team because a few that's uh, love it's a canon canon means in the classical sense it keeps on repeating itself but keeps on adding instruments to make it newer and newer until it rises in a crescendo and you burst into orgasm so that's a b unboxing and I have a few other things to talk about okie dokie so when it comes to laptop I haven't bought my lovely GX70 from MSI yet uh, I had to like to do some research first, so uh, the, I went around Lawiat and went to see I Universe Technology and this Andy Chia is the manager. So if there's any problems with it, this this uh, company or small little sh shopping lot will get the full brunt of my wrath. Any problems at all? If I were to consider buying it from them, because I went to the net and see whether there's any problems with iUniverse so far it's like there's only one I think it's a gaijin or a foreigner that says oh, the, the people there were rude and uh, they didn't want to like take my uh, accept return products and that was like in 2010 so uh, there were not many negatives at all but there were no not many positives actually iUniverse technology is unknown not sure so pertaining to GX70, I tried to like phone the media for Chase and Durant Berhad. You know, uh, I think they are the official distributor of MSI products in Malaysia. And um, yeah, they're quite stringent and they only reveal the price of the GX70 to people.